Hi, I'm Dream Duck for the University Starly Christmas Calendar, Day 13, the Lucia special. Let's light the candle. And we're going into game number 13. I, I hate this holiday. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this evening's uh, collection of University Star League Christmas Calendar, Day 13. I hope you enjoy that beautiful singing from the intro and uh, that you're still watching. Uh, I am Duck Norris and I'm co-casting, of course, with... With Soup Duck. Um, that was a creative split of the <laughs> SCVs to start with. All of them ended up over here. Um, and as you see, we have a Terran playing in the bottom right corner. This is uh, Mosi, who is a diamond level player from KTH. Yeah, and in the top left corner, we have the blue Serg, Arulo, uh, also from KTH, a platinum league player. Yes. And uh, she actually played against Mosi um, uh, in the beginning of the tournament. Uh, <laughs> we're discussing the Lord of the Rings here. Um, and uh, unfortunately lost against him 2-0, uh, but then uh, won on walkover against Silver Blue. Uh, Mosi, on the other hand, played against Arulu, as we mentioned, um, but and then lost against Shaz, uh, a Master League player in that group. So um, it's the last game of the deciding match. Uh, Mosi is up 1-0, so for Arulu, this is do or die. Yeah, really, it really is. And of course, whoever wins uh, goes on to the group number two of University Star League, and uh, that's our top 32 players, and it's a very coveted position. And from there, of course, you can go onwards to the final, the top 16, and the final event that will be hold, held at KDH uh, Student Union Building of Nimble. Yeah. In the beginning uh, of February. In the beginning of February, that will be an awesome event, so be there. Yeah. Um, there might be some singing. <laughs> but maybe better singing <laughs> yeah, than in the, the intro to this movie. Yeah, if we bring singers, we promise they'll be better than us. And also the casters, of course, will be uh, Dream Duck, our lead caster. Yeah, and hopefully some surprise guests. Uh, yeah. uh, we've managed to, to find some of the I mean, up and, up and coming casting talent of, of the Stockholm scene, at least. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you uh, are a caster, and we want to cast more StarCraft, uh, I mean, drop us a note and uh, let's we'll see what we can do together. Yeah. Uh, it's always, I mean, I think we should build the StarCraft community from the bottom up. Yeah, in uh, general right now, what we're doing is we, we're looking for all people oh interested in StarCraft. Oh, this SCV is <laughs> so <laughs> going down. Yeah, that's a lot of <laughs> time going into killing that, though. But yeah, that, that was... And she's transferring though, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But no. yeah, but that's just, uh, we're trying to build a StarCraft community. So if you're interested in helping out with StarCraft on any level, from just uh, fixing the places where we are to casting or producing, get, send us a mail and uh, we'll look at it. <laughs> and they're writing, oh, in the chat here. I don't know what exactly happened to. To cause that kind of... Oh, ah, it's the overlord. Poor, that poor overlord. <laughs> oh, I hate that feeling. I'm a certain player myself. And when you know that, oh, I shouldn't have put that overlord there. And you just... No. You know there's nothing you can do. That That's the worst feeling. Even oh, with that added speed. <laughs> she might be looking to get revenge here. Uh, the, the circling sees the marine. Is she going to... No. no. She just she went by. Went and right bunker by. finishes here, so uh, Mosi should be safe against yeah. those uh, those zerglings. I least. guess she's scouting a very early third for the for the. Yeah, and nothing there. No. And uh, Mosi has the watchtower here, so he feels quite secure as well. Yeah, though, he uh, was out. Spreading out nice overlords here to I mean, uh, Ohana is a map where at least I love to try to drop this area. It's yeah, very it's wide <laughs> and. Uh, uh, sometimes, at least <laughs> in Silver League where I play, people forget to defend <laughs> this entire ledge. 
So if if it's uh, if it's uh, your units over here, you can always drop over here and vice versa. Yeah, it's, uh, it's But uh, with overlords oh. like this, it should be no problem for her to defend against. No, I mean as long as she's uh, she's got control of the mini map, she's gonna notice anything incoming there. And uh, mostly actually moving out with quite a lot of marines there, always pulling them back to the no, base. Just again. to just to push the zerglings back from the watchtower. Yeah. So what is going on in this game? Uh, for the Zerg players, uh, the Zerg player, there is actually no tech so far, just an evolution chamber. Uh, the spawning pool is there, but uh, no no uh, decision about uh, what kind of higher tier unit to, to build. Yeah. Stim coming down for the turn player, uh, getting a couple of tech labs up. Yeah, I think uh, no reactors. reactors actually. So gearing up That's to That's how good I am at Terran <laughs> right now. <laughs> gearing up towards uh, a lot of marines uh, to push with the stim yeah. when that is finished maybe. Oh, um, infantry weapons level 1 going in as well. Yeah, those should line up pretty good and yeah. finish. So once stim is done, mostly we'll have a lot of marines to attack with uh, and uh, as you know, marines are very good units, especially in huge numbers. They can overwhelm yeah, they have a their DPS is amazing. Yeah, uh, is I mean, as long as uh, <laughs> there are no banelings to take care of them, they or banelings infestors uh, work really good against marines. But if there's nothing like that, then Arulu will be in some trouble. Yeah, I mean, uh, Arulu is here. Uh, she might be afraid of to, uh, to go again. Throwing uh, out some spore yeah, crawlers some here. Banshees maybe afraid of banshees or drops. Yeah. But uh, this is straight up a lot of marines and. Uh, Getting the factory working towards those uh, starports and medivacs, I s suspect. All but, important uh, medivacs. Yeah. Th they are really nice together with the stim. And the first group of marines are actually out here before uh, stim is done. Is the queen mm. going to see them? Oh no, they go up to see if there's a third so coming. And of yeah. course it's not there yet, but that drone is on the way. That drone will have a hard time. Ah, they oh. actually <laughs> they <laughs> run. Split the <laughs> rocks for each other. Yeah. But these are oh too many marines yeah. for the, that number of Zarglings. And uh, wisely enough, she cancels the hatchery because that would have been taken yeah, down. Yeah, it, would it wouldn't have stood a chance. But she I am oh a bit worried. I actually really think have a lot there are no... <laughs> no defending units against these no. marines. That's uh, alarming. And they're because in a position as well. Because that means these marines will just uh, take everything out and even manage to maybe retreat back home or... Yeah, they managed to get two queens down. I mean, now there's a lot of circles <laughs> coming. Attacking the supply depot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a nasty and now they're getting taken out, yeah. but that was actually quite painful. Ten workers killed, so and uh, Mose is ahead in supply, which is nothing you would like as a Zerg player to no. have your Terran opponent ahead of you at this stage of the game. At ten minutes in, you want to be steamrolling with those. And uh, also, with that supply. I mean, he um, took out two queens as well. That's so she's not going to be able to. Uh, Larva inject for quite some time. She's getting upgrades behind this yeah. and the third base, uh, an infestation pit, uh, but no, nothing uh, like roaches or anything infestors like that. Infestors is coming down though. So, so infestors, zerglings, that's yeah. it. And I mean, if she manages to get up uh, a couple of infestors, ventral sacks. Oh. <laughs> Maybe some funky drop uh, play on on the way. That yeah. would be nice. But here's the second batch of marines uh, heading in, and uh, they will also manage to do quite a lot of damage, I think. Yeah, because she's just finishing up as well. Yeah. So yeah, Arula is heading towards banding drops. The banding nest, which I didn't yeah. spot earlier, is finished. So and some defensive bandings would be really good All against uh, <laughs> those marines but uh, there are so many and mostly is up 20 supply oh is that base gonna finish that base will finish oh. i think yes and yeah, uh, we'll have a hard time surviving maybe but those queens yeah, but three queens that's that's quite some firepower yeah so the queens and with some trans transfuse, yeah. maybe? Yeah. No, no, the, the only one down. that actually had the energy was the one that uh, got taken out. So oh, that's too bad. That was nice by Mosi, but no. So the, the Marines, Marines actually hold. they do survive and can continue to bring down this hatchery. Yeah, but with 18 Serlings on the way, though. 18 Serlings I mean, incoming. I'm not sure they have the time for it. No. 
But I mean, the damage has been yeah. done, and uh, Mosi is expanding behind this, uh, macroing uh, like crazy, and uh, adding siege tanks into the mix. Uh, and these units are rallied here a bit too uh, early, I think. Maybe yeah. keeping the units away from the Marines and... Then again, she managed to take out all of the Marines, and uh, of course... And the, the hatch, and the hatch lifts. Third kept That's going. nice. It could have been a lot worse, but this uh, final push, I think, will be m too much for her. Um, yeah, I mean, now the, the siege tanks are in there. Three the siege, siege tanks. Space, also some medevacs. Yeah. The medevacs would have helped enormously. And even a fourth base game. finishing here. Mosey yeah. is on top of things. A really, uh, really impressive macro play yep. behind that aggression. I mean, uh, uh, if I tried to do something like this, I would l just sit and look at my marines fighting and forget to macro behind it. But uh, yeah. mostly it's uh, a few leagues above me and um, really knows how to macro behind your aggression. Yeah, really and that, those that pays off. Jump between, the jump between the views. And that pays off, of course. So yeah. really nice position here. <laughs> One siege yeah. tank. Yeah, hanging out yeah, with, the <laughs> with the mules. Yeah, uh, I think it's an SCV. It wants to gather some minerals, but of course... Okay, so mostly uh, Arula well. had a nice plan here, trying to get the fourth base up, yeah. uh, but there were a lot of Tyran units there instead, oh, uh, which is of course a problem. Siege tank setting All up. Right, to but any type of oh, those Bailey! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so many <laughs> Marines dead. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's beautiful to see. That's what you use Banelings for. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I, I mean, that's the that. only weakness of the Marines. They're, <laughs> they're low health. Yeah, they're not... They're and those other Banelings will connect with the Marines, but... So, three undefended siege tanks here with some nice yeah, Zerglings. Uh, sh uh, she should be able to take these out. She should uh, just... I think they uh, will uh, retreat home with uh, yeah, these she medivacs. She pick them up with the medivacs. <laughs> there they go. Yeah. Okay, so... Oh, but she's not. She's actually moving in with the siege. Oh, that's so weak. <laughs> she <laughs> Mosi, takes out Mosi the hatchery. Mosi moves back oh. and takes out the ruler's hatchery, yeah. That's... That's... And now he's that's moving nerves, out. that is. Now he's moving away with yeah. those uh, siege tanks uh, safely carried by the medevac and <laughs> going back to attack a ruler's queen. Yeah, I'm willing to bet that ruler right now is punching her keyboard asking <laughs> for an investor. An yes. investor just capped... Oh, but takes out a queen. <laughs> This double siege tank drop continues. <laughs> it, I mean, uh, it's unorthodox. It's, it's uh, unorthodox. I, I'll give it that. But uh, yeah. And just like before, really nice macro behind this. Uh, Mosi is at 150 supply against 90, and the <laughs> they siege take tank. The oh, and Fester goes down. <laughs> Finally, oh. the siege. No, it's no, picked she up. <laughs> Stutter drop. Maybe I don't <laughs> I'm not sure what they call that. Mosi has this hero siege tank. Yeah, firing, eleven kills. Firing against the <laughs> zerglings from the low ground. Yeah, eleven kills and a hatchery. There it goes yeah. down, <laughs> and uh, it's not a good day to be uh, a rulu at this moment because those siege tanks did way too much damage. Now the medevac goes down as well, and behind this. I'm not sure why she did that though. I mean, the infestors were going after the medevac. If she, or if he had just left it, they would probably have cast an at least a fungal wasted some energy, but hey. Yeah, some banelings morphing here to defend, and the fourth base is up. So this game is not over yet, even though it's not looking good with the supply difference here. Um, and uh, Mosi is adding on extra starports, probably so uh, getting ready to defend against any possible broodlords. But Arulo is not up with the the, um, the tech transitions here, no, uh, the, like the hive is uh, there, but there is no no uh, broodlers incoming. And I'd actually here's like to see Arulo put down some <laughs> macro I mean, she has yeah. Here's a big battle yeah. with some siege tanks actually getting taken out. The investors are finally coming into play, um, but running out of energy, which means that uh, the Terran push can continue. Um, he's going to take a look at the fourth base here and find it undefended, which is never a good thing as a Zerg player. No, I mean there's there's not really not much Arulo can do right now. She's uh, she's blocked off uh, larvae. She simply doesn't have any larvae to produce units because she has so much resources. I mean, three and a half thousand minerals and two thousand gas, but she simply can't produce anything. Yeah. 
without the hatcheries. She should have at least a couple of macro hatcheries too. I mean, that's not... You don't get 3,000 minerals just like that. And I suspect that, uh, I mean, this could also be with all all the terror and aggression going on. It uh, could be hard to to put all those injects down on time. Yeah, it's uh, it's very hard as a story actually to remember that Larvan Jack, Larvan Jack, Larvan Jack. You always have it in the back of your head, but... And now the Terran push is um, heading into the uh, second expansion here as well. And yeah. you can see all the units Third. streaming up here to to uh, reinforce. And I think this will s pretty soon be a good game from yeah, Arulo, the, the who unfortunately is knocked out of the tournament. Uh, and there's the GG. There is the GG. So Mosi moves on into the second round. Uh, I think Arulo did a nice game here. Uh, she uh, kept up with uh, the expansions, but was a bit unprepared for that first marine uh, marine attack with those uh, 8 or 10 marines. And yeah. that was enough to, to put her behind in the game. Yeah, she did some very good things. I mean, those banelings were all oh, that, that was beautiful. <laughs> some really nice banelings yeah. detonations. But I, I still want the most valuable player of this game to go to that hero siege tank. Yeah, the I siege mean, a hat tree, a uh, fester, a couple of queens. <laughs> uh, he was just having the time of his life. And then finishing up by killing some zerglings from the low ground team <laughs> with the vision from his medevac. Yeah, the medevac and uh, her siege tank. <laughs> it's a beautiful love story. Yes. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, game in uh, University Star League from our uh, first group play, last round actually. And a big congratulation to Mosi that goes on to the second group. Yeah, so that's it for today. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>